Um, I'm going to try this. Uh, as you can see, I'm filming at home. I covered my archway here. Um, shower curtain. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I thought I actually filmed this video in fact I know I filmed this video I just don't know what happened to it um, in the mix-up with losing the internet and not being able to access the YouTube channel to post videos and trying to do it on my phone something happened somewhere and the video got lost in the shuffle I, I think I deleted it off my phone thinking I had it on my computer where I would try and edit it and then put it back on my phone and obviously that didn't work. <laughs> so I'm talking about the, um, today I'm talking about the lymphedema that I have, the issue that's causing one breast to be swollen and I did go to see a, um, she, her title is occupational therapist, she does deal with lymphedema Typically, it's in the arm, sometimes the leg. Even finding anything online about lymphedema in the breast is exceedingly hard. It's just not out there. I tried to find studies. I tried to get in on any research that's going on, which, aside from the fact that I'm in Hawaii, which makes it hard to get in on research period because we're kind of remotely located you can't get anywhere easily um, but there just isn't any there's there are plenty of studies being done and research being done for lymphedema of the arm lymphedema of the leg none but they're you know they're very specific you have to have one you know you have to have that lymphedema in order to participate in that study there are none that are open-ended that you just have to have lymphedema. There are none specifically targeted towards breast. It's just not out there. I'm getting a lot of glare on my glasses. Sorry about that. I'm, like I said, doing this at home. So, <sighs> anyway. So she did give me some exercises to do. I call them exercises because I don't know what else to call them. Basically, it's going very lightly. It's like a caress. It, I mean, it's not even rubbing. It's not as hard as rubbing. It's just, you know, and uh, it's just a very light touch, just very, very lightly over the skin. You, if you're moving the skin, if you're pushing skin, you're going too hard. It's just very light over it. I don't see how that's going to help. Supposedly, it gets... The lymphedema, the the lymph, the the lymph fluids flowing, and you kind of direct them away from where you want to go. Like I would direct down. I don't know. I'm doing them, but I don't know. Even Tucker looks at me like. So I've got my list here, and I'm going to go over them kind of briefly. So you can see what I'm talking about when I talk about these exercises. Um, you start with the neck. You actually have to do this. And if you're choking yourself, it's too hard. <laughs> it's very light touch. And this is kind of like hard to do because it seems like my neck is always warm. So the skin just sort of grabs anyway. But you're just sort of doing circles. And then you go up a little bit higher on the neck. And again, you do circles. Actually, it's supposed to be this way on this one. Sorry about that. You you cross and you do this. And then you do this on the side to kind of, so it gets the circulation going kind of behind the ear there. And you do five circles in each set that you do. You do five circles. And I still have to go by this list, even though I've been doing it for a week now. Um, over a week I still have to go by the list I forget the order that they go into and so then it says let's see after you do the neck and behind the ears then you do on here and typically I don't have clothes on when I'm doing this I do it like right before bedtime I lay down and I do this I'm not standing either so 
you do five of these um, and then you go over here and do five and you just do like with the palm of your hand or the flat of your fingers you don't want to dig in and so you're just doing five of those and then you go sweep across so you're telling it go that way go that way <laughs> and then this is a weird one and you do this on each side you start up here and again this is kind of where the the skin sticks because your underarm it's always kind of um, and then you go down and do five more they go down and do five more a hand width each time until I don't have the camera up high enough until you get to like the hip what they call it the mid groin area so like when you get to your hip and then you sweep it all down and then you come in and you sweep it back sorry it's like can I get this <laughs> I was concerned about getting this portion. I didn't quite get low enough with the camera. Um, it, you know, a small apartment, it's hard to get things coordinated. Um, then you do the other side. And then, because this is the breast that's affected, I would do this around the breast and then do it in thirds. So, and then, then what do I do? You see, I cannot remember this. I don't know why. It seems like it's so easy. And then you still do this again. And that's all there is to it. The whole thing takes less than 10 minutes, um, which seems like it's way too short. It seems like it should be taking about 20. But I swear, that's all there is to it. And so... I do that every night and um, in the meantime you know it's like this may never go down it may go down some it may go all the way nobody knows nobody can tell it's one of those weird oddity things um, in the meantime uh, they, my insurance has given me prosthetic to wear on this side so that I even out and What's kind of amazing about this is that they sent me to Nordstrom. <laughs> Which, when they did that, I thought, oh my gosh, that's going to be expensive. But insurance covered almost the whole thing. So that was like, yay. Um, but they actually have, if you go online and look, search Nordstrom breast prosthetic, a whole department for Nordstrom comes up, which I thought was amazing. I did not know anything about this. Nordstrom actually has a breast prosthesis department. You call, you make an appointment, you go in, they have, uh, they call them professionals. I, you know, I mean, she has a business card. She was apparently trained in this, but I don't know how professional professional is for this. Um, she measured me, she brought some bras in, we tried them on, I tried them on, um, we checked fit, you know, and she had to exchange a few times. This is a C cup, this is a triple D. So, um, then they had to go to a seamstress to have the little cup put in for the prosthetic piece. And so now I'm just waiting for those to come back, uh, which should be any day now. And, but I, I thought that was kind of cool that Nordstrom does this. And um, then, so when I get them back, I'll make sure and show you how even I look. And then it's like going back to the whole thing about the lymphedema and diagnosis you know, a C cup, triple D cup. Yeah. Um, you know, for me, that's kind of like unacceptable. I mean, you know, 
I was probably a D cup or this side was probably a D cup when I started going to the doctor and saying, Hey, this is swelling. This is, you know, getting enlarged. What do I need to do? What's going on? And nobody could tell me anything. And, you know, by time I started doing research, I did some research. I didn't find anything. And it wasn't until something clicked with lymphedema, you know, I found some link that said lymphedema, and then I went, oh, maybe that's it, and started researching lymphedema, and then I found it. There are connections you have to make. And I guess my point is, don't bury your head in the sand and think your doctor is going to take care of everything, because obviously they don't. You know, this went to a triple D cup by the time anybody got involved to the point where something could maybe be done, only it was too late to do anything. If it were still the D cup, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. They might have been able to do something, you know, at least stop the progression. So, yeah. Don't always rely on your doctor to tell you what's going on with your body. You need to step in and say, if this isn't right, and if my doctor says, I don't know, or I've never seen that before, start going out and doing research on your own. Don't just say, okay, well, that's odd. We'll wait for the next doctor, or we'll wait for him to research it. That doesn't work. No. Um, obviously that does not work and yeah so that's my diatribe for the day and even Tucker's tired of hearing about it now <laughs> all right so I just kind of wanted to share with you what I'm doing for the lymphedema as little as it is if I could find anything else on it, I will share it, but there's really nothing out there. Um, what they tell you for the arm or the leg is to wear a sleeve, a compression garment. There is no such thing for the breast. So it's just kind of stuck. Um, I'm trying to get the glare off of my glasses, sorry. Um, like I've got the door open for natural light and So just think of my eyes as like really blue-green. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I'll try and get this posted um, in the morning and um, then I will do something else, I don't know. <sighs> I'll talk to you later, bye-bye. Oh, one thing I wanted to tell you, at the end of all my videos, I do that you know, don't forget to comment down below, hit the like button. You know, it, it's the same thing everybody in every YouTube video does. I'm tired of doing it. If you're watching this, you know what to do. You'll do it or you won't do it. And I feel like I'm begging for people to watch my videos and to be, you're already watching it by the time you get to that point. You're already either subscribed or not you've already liked it or not I'm gonna leave it up to you guys if you want to do any of that I'm just at the point where you know I was kind of lost there for a while and I wasn't sure what direction I was kind of gonna take the videos in but it's like the more that happens with all the chemo and the cancer and everything it, you know stuff I mean this late in the game stuff is still happening and so I'm just gonna keep making these videos about what happens and how I deal with it and you know if I stay at six subscribers then I stay at six subscribers you know but maybe down the road this is gonna help somebody which is what I needed when I started making these videos and so I'm just gonna stop doing the begging and for likes and all of that at the end of the videos now 
So I'll let you go and I'll post another video when I can. Bye-bye.